Hello guys, here I am for another video brought to you by Riaf Kuba, an English teacher. This is the fourth part of the lesson entitled Holidaying, devoted to baccalaureate students. Let's jump right in. Before getting started, let's see what this lesson's objectives are. By the end of the lesson, the students will be able to express their preferences on the seaside holidays. The words the students are meant to acquire in this lesson are back then, bathing costumes, swimming costumes, seaside holidays, to catch fish and crabs, to pack all the stuff, and to set up a tent. If you're interested in taking an online training course, you can contact me on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, or you can simply send me an email. Don't forget to share this video and to send it to as many of your friends as possible so that they can make the most of it. To gather as many ideas as possible, I ask some of my family relatives how they used to spend their holidays at the seaside. So first I compiled their answers into a list and then I sorted them out and broken them down into three different parts. So in this video I'm going to be talking about how people used to prepare for their seaside holidays, what they used to do there, and what bathing suits they used to wear. We will find out about that both in Tunisia and in the UK. So without further ado, let's get into it. My relatives told me that uh, those days had been the most memorable moments ever and that what mattered most to them was to achieve a peaceful and calm state of mind. Seaside holidays back then were very different in comparison with nowadays. They would only go to the seaside because flying to another country wasn't an affordable option. To go to the seaside, they would have to get up early in the morning at about 4 o'clock to pack all the stuff they might need, such as uh, kitchen utensils, food, swimming costumes, and some other clothes. They would also take their pets with them, which was a great opportunity to bathe them. As for family relationships, those days were also so special to them, and the secret behind that was the family reunion. All the family members would come along with each other. They got on like a house on fire. They did not used to look for comfort or five-star hotels as most people do these days. For them, simplicity reveals the pure beauty of life. In the past, the concept of a family was different family was considered parents, raising their children, and all of them living together, raising children and grandchildren together. Three generations were considered to be a single family, but now this concept has totally changed. Family nowadays are only your parents and your siblings. As for children, once they got there, they would go swimming right away and play together until midday. They used to play together traditional games such as uh, building sand castles or burying themselves under the sand. As for the men, they used to set up a tent. Then at sunset, they would go fishing and catch crabs for dinner and have them grilled while listening to classical music. As for the women, they would uh, get together and chat and talk about their everyday life all day. At night, all the family members would gather around a campfire in front of the tent talking about their family affairs while eating some sunflower seeds. As for food, it was 100% homemade and was freshly cooked from scratch. They would also buy some watermelons on the way to the beach. These were their favorites. Let's move on now to what the seaside holidays in the UK looked like. The view of the seaside around 100 years ago in the UK is very different to present day scenes. As you can see from this picture, people used to dress in elegant fashions of the day and most of the people featured in this photograph are covered up as they relax on deck chairs and wander around on the sand. In the Victorian days, people visiting the seaside would wear their casual day clothes for walking on the beach. They would wear trousers and skirts rolled up to keep dry. Let's see now how they used to get there. People used to flock to see a sailing boat come in on the shore, 
However, railways changed people's lives as they could visit the seaside for the day by steam train. The other way to travel uh, was by horse-drawn carts, but that took eight hours to get there. Bicycles also became popular, but trains were certainly quicker. Some people also went to the seaside on open-top buses. Now people also go by coach or electric train. We will now have a glimpse of what they used to do at the seaside. This picture clearly shows that the children used to ride donkeys. Children could take donkey rides on the beach at most seasides and play on the beach with well-dressed adults relaxing nearby. They used to play around in the water with an old cart and a friendly dog. They used to let the water rush over them. Children were pictured with their fishing nets on the beach in a photo dating back 100 years ago. Children were also crazy about buying souvenirs. They used to eat hokey pokey at the seaside. They used to call ice cream hokey pokey. Punch and Judy shows were popular, but not so much now. Just like today, people also used to make sandcastles with flags, sitting deck chairs on the sand, play sports, and go for walks along the beach. This picture here shows the carriages or the bathing machines in which women would change into their bathing costumes. A horse would then pull these bathing machines towards the sea, and women would lower themselves into it without being seen. They used to pay for using these bathing machines. Men and women would bathe in separate areas of the beach. Later, people began to wear a long bathing costume. Now people wear swimming costumes, trunks or bikinis. Sun bathing wasn't in fashion back then. They would go to the beach fully clothed. Sea bathing was done instead. Women used to use umbrellas to keep the sun off their faces. That's all for me. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also to make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Question of the day. Which do you prefer? A seaside holiday in the past or a seaside holiday in the present? Express your preference in the comment section below by using these expressions. That's all for me. Thank you so much. Ah, I was uh, going to forget something very important. Do you want to know why I highlighted used to and would in red? That's what we will be talking about in the next uh, video. So stay tuned. That's all for me. Love and peace. Riyadh.